Hey, this is Rick with Outdoor Emergencies at hikingemergencybeacon.com. And today I want to walk you through step by step how to change or customize the menus on the Garmin GPS Map 67i. It's pretty easy, but I've had somebody that left a message this week and said, hey, can you show how to do it rather than just putting the screenshots up? So this actually should be a very short video. But before I show you how to do this, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. All right, we are going to break to you seeing the camera and not me, and then we'll wrap up in a little bit. All right, in this case, I'm not going to show screenshots because this should be very obvious to you and, and you should see I have, a, have a good quality on this image. Now, there are two things you can change in the menu. You can change things on the main menu and then in the settings here, you can go into this and you can change how things show up in the settings menu. Well, let's get back out real quick. And I'm going to show you real quick the ways to get to it. And then we will go into uh, then how you actually do it. So the first way to get into it is when you're in the menu, if you hit the menu button, it automatically goes to change menu order. What's that say? I can't even read it. Yeah, change item order. All right, so that's how that's one way to get to it. Then if you go into the settings menu, if you hit the menu icon again right here. If you can't see it, it's this menu button. If you hit that, again, it says the same thing. That's the easiest way to change the item order. Now, one way I've always done it in the past, I'll just show you real quick. If you go into the, down to the bottom, just or you can go up to the top if you want. It's easier just to go top. The one way I've always changed this in the past, and I think I'm gonna switch it from now on, and just hit the menu button when I'm on the screen I want. If you go into the setup menu, I just hit the wrong button right there. I'm gonna go back to menu. If you go into the setup menu, then I have already changed my icon. This used to be farther down. This menu icon right there at the top right, I have already moved that higher up. But if you click on that, now this is where you can change. You can change the menu style, you can change the main menu, the page sequence, and the setup menu. Now I'm gonna run through all these real quick, but let's do this from actually out at the main menu. I think that's maybe the easiest way to do it. So here I'm at the main menu, and if I just hit menu, so now it says change item order. If I click on that, now what is, what's it say? So it lists, these are all the items that are actually in the main menu. So we, let's go down and, and just pick something here. Let's go down and find something that's farther down. And, and so instead of something that you use all the time is way down, say, let's say flashlight, for example. Say you use your flashlight all the time. If you hit on flashlight, it says move, move insert, or remove. So you can take this off the menu altogether. And if something's not here, you can add it. I'll show you how to add something here in just a minute. But if I hit move, then you can see it turned red. Now, if I arrow up with this button here, if I arrow up, I can go put it all the way at the top. So here's the top right up under setup. And let's just put it right under setup. So let's hit enter. And now it turns black again. So if I go back out to the main menu, see, look, it's set up there and flashlight. That's how easy that is. Let's go into the setup menu and do the same thing. Again, we're going to hit menu, the menu button right here and change item order and hit enter this button right down the bottom right. And then we're gonna go find something farther down. Again, these are all things are already displayed. So let's say you want the waypoints to be farther up. So I'm gonna hit that. Again, it turns red, so now I arrow up to where I want it. I'm gonna go all the way to the top just for simplicity. I'm gonna put it right under system. Then I hit enter again and now it turns black. So if I get out by hitting quit right here, when I hit quit, there it is. See it's system and then waypoints. Now let's see what happens if I go into system. It gives me the same options. If I'm in system and I hit enter, it says restore defaults. We don't wanna do that. Now you may wanna do it at some point, but we don't wanna do that today. So the other way to do this, there was more options on it. Let's say we want to go right here 
on the settings menu and we want to go into menu because there was more things to choose from. All right, so there's the menu style grid. So let's click on that. So it says small grid, big grid, and list. And well, I don't even know what it is right now. Let's go list, for example. Let's, let's look big grid first. So let's get back out and everything is much larger. So maybe you have a hard time seeing and you're, you know, you need to give glasses and or whatever it is, you, you want to see the bigger menu. Uh, so that's, that's one way to do that. So let's go back to menu real quick. Let's go back here and go to list. And then we'll get back out. And so now everything's in a list instead of the, you know, the grid that it was before. So let's go back to menus and let's go put it back to where it was small grid go back out so it's small grid now let's go to menus again let's go to main menu now this is what we did before we went and picked something and we moved our we moved the flashlight right up under setup so we don't want to do that we've already done it page sequence so this is page ribbon display fast and then there's edit page sequence so let's click on page ribbon display real quick it says off, slow, and fast. So right now it's fast. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. I just wanna show you this. Edit page sequence. So there's maps. So select an item to change. Map, message, compass, trip. Okay, now this is something I wanna show you real quick where this at is. So I'm gonna go back out. And when, you hit, when you're back at the main menu and you hit, you hit the quit button, it goes through this ribbon down at the bottom. Trip computer, compass, messages. So evidently, that's where you change that. I did not realize that. So we're gonna go back into setup and we're gonna to go to men, men, menu and we're gonna to go to page sequence and edit page sequence. Now this again, this is where trip computer altimeter and main menu and here's where I can add a page. If I wanna go into add a page, I can pick application and there's active weather. Maybe I want active weather. Let's just do that real quick. I'm gonna go and put active weather right there. All right, so that's in there. So let's go back out and then we're gonna hit quit. So active weather should now show up. There it is. There's active weather. And now it's the same Wi-Fi setup, but anyway, that's how easy that is. Now let's go back into menu. Let's go back into setup and let's go to the menu page and let's go back down to the setup menu. Now we've already done this. We were in the setup menu and we wanted to change how things were displayed or where they were at. We put the waypoints up top. So now let's go down to find menu. I haven't done find menu before. Use map, recent finds, waypoints. So it's again, you, you're changing things where they're at and can you put something else? And there's others. So I haven't used this. This is something I need to look at a little bit more. I really haven't used this right now. So if you have questions or if you know and have answers about this, then go ahead and leave comments below because you know this is something I need to learn a little bit more about on this. All right, the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is that there's something that's not here that you want. So what you do is you, you can either arrow all the way down or you can go up to the top and there's add page. But let's just go down just because last time we went up and right there, there's add page. So we hit on add page and there's setup, where to, but we're gonna hit applications. And one thing I, I haven't got on mine is it's alarm clock. And maybe you want that, or maybe you want the calculator or the calendar. Let's put the calendar on. The calendar's not there. So we hit that and all of a sudden the calendar shows up. See, it's right there, right by the plus. Now, if we wanna move that up to the top, again, let's hit the menu, this menu button here. It says change item order. Now we can go up to the top rather than go all the way to the bottom. We hit calendar, again hit enter, and it says move. So we move, turns red, and then we just take it up to where we want. Let's go all the way up to the top, and let's put it right under, what do we have it under here? Flat, there's flashlight. Let's put it right under flashlight. So now it turns black, we go back out, and let's see, I just messed this up. Let's go back to main menu and go to the top and there we have flashlight and calendar you see how easy that is to do that i would just play around with it it's very simple and there was the one thing i didn't know how to do and let's see setup and menu and what was it it was find menu yeah i think that's maybe what it was all right so if i hit that yeah that's one thing i i haven't figured out yet so the find menu maybe i'll take care of and, and work on or 
do some research and have a video for another day. Okay, I hope you saw that that was very easy. If you have any questions and you want me to check anything else on this, or maybe I missed something, or there's other things that are you know that you don't understand and you want me to take a look at, I am more than happy to do some research on it and let you know how it works and make a video. Because if you're having a question about something, I guarantee you, probably, you know, maybe even millions, but at least thousands of other people are having that same question. So again, I hope you like it. Please leave a comment or have questions or you have some advice on how to use this 67i. I would appreciate it because I'm getting better at it. I'm doing playlists. I got a lot of playlists. This is actually going to go in the playlist. And so that playlist is getting up to 20 or so videos in it, but I'll be more than happy to add to it. And I want to learn more about it. So please leave comments. I always like to reply within 24 hours for sure. And a lot of times it's within two to six hours, unless I'm out on an adventure and then may it might, might be two, three, four days at that point. But that's kind of rare these days. I mean, I do get out quite a bit, but yeah, usually it's, it's a rare that I'm not responding within that same day. Well, thanks again for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Please leave those comments below and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon and help pay for some of these satellite messengers, no pressure, you don't need to. I'm just saying if you do want to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there is a link in the description below. Thanks again, and I will see you back out here in the next video.